Hello everyone, Himanshu here from OptimizeSmart.com. In today's video, I want to talk about the benefits of implementing attribution modeling. Here is what we are going to cover in this video lesson. What is attribution modeling and what are its objectives? The key benefits of implementing attribution modeling. How is attribution modeling helpful for e-commerce websites? How is attribution modeling helpful for non-e-commerce websites. What is attribution modeling and what are its objectives? Attribution modeling is the process of understanding and assigning credit to marketing channels that lead to sales and other conversions. These marketing channels are primarily digital marketing channels, example paid search, display advertising, Facebook, etc. but can also include offline touch points like store visits, phone calls, etc. The objective of attribution modeling is to understand the true customer purchase journey and to determine the most effective marketing channels for investment. The key benefits of implementing attribution modeling. By implementing attribution modeling in your organization, you can determine the best marketing campaigns for investment in marketing channels like Google Ads and Facebook. You can learn to allocate budget to different marketing campaigns and channels. You can correctly give conversion credit to a channel, campaign, keyword and device. So you know exactly what is working and not working in your marketing. You can connect marketing activities across devices. You can justify ad spend on Google Ads, Facebook marketing, SEO, email etc. and rightfully demand more budget. You can determine which media mix should get the maximum budget next month. You can improve return on investment across marketing channels. You can evaluate the performance of a cross-channel or cross-device marketing strategy. You can optimally balance your digital marketing portfolio. You can make your Google Ads and Facebook marketing campaigns more effective in terms of conversions and ROI. How is attribution modeling helpful for e-commerce websites? Attribution modeling is helpful for understanding and fixing multi-channel and multi-device attribution issues in e-commerce websites. Multi-channel attribution is the most popular type of attribution and when marketers talk about attribution, they are generally referring to this. In the case of multi-channel attribution, we determine the impact of multiple digital marketing channels, paid search, organic search, email marketing, referral traffic, display advertising etc on sales and other conversions. We try to understand how different digital channels work together to create conversions and how the credit for conversions should be distributed among the various channels. Google Analytics support this type of attribution via the multi-channel funnel reports and the model comparison tool. Multi-channel attribution can be single touch or multi-touch. Single Touch attribution models include first touch and last touch attribution models. Multi-touch attribution models include time decay, linear, position based and data driven attribution models. In the case of multi-device attribution, we determine the impact of multiple devices on sales and other conversions. We try to understand how different devices work together to create conversions and how the credit for conversions should be distributed among different devices. How is attribution modeling helpful for non-e-commerce websites? There is a common misbelief that attribution modeling is only helpful for e-commerce websites. In fact, non-e-commerce websites need more attribution modeling insight than e-commerce websites. This is because unlike e-commerce websites, almost all macro conversions like placing an order happen offline via phone calls, store visits, on-site visits, etc. This makes attributing offline conversions to online marketing activities very difficult and challenging. I had a client who was in the business of selling and installing swimming pools. All of their sales were happening offline via phone calls. They were running a non-e-commerce website. In the case of a non-e-commerce website, usually all conversions happen offline via phone calls, store visits, etc. These websites generally do not have any macro conversions like placing an order, but they do tend to have lot of micro conversions like downloading a brochure, watching a video, requesting a follow up etc. Often such websites are set up to fight for a cause 
animal rights or children's charity to sell services or to sell very high priced items properties cars super yacht etc if you are doing marketing for this type of website then you will have a hard time reporting the value you have added to the business bottom line without proving that your online marketing efforts have actually impacted the offline conversions so if you manage or market a non e-commerce website then attribution modeling is extremely important for you if you want to learn more about attribution modeling then check out my two books on attribution modeling on amazon.com the first book is attribution modeling in google analytics and beyond this book is 480 pages long and it took me almost a year to write it this book has been written to help you implement attribution modeling in your organization it will teach you to leverage the knowledge of attribution modeling while allocating your marketing budget and help you to understand your users buying behavior in this book there is a strong focus on using google analytics and other google tools and technologies I have explained various attribution models mainly in the context of Google Analytics. This book is available on all Amazon marketplaces worldwide. Simply search for it on Amazon and you should be able to find it. My second and the latest book on attribution modeling is Attribution Modeling in Google Ads and Facebook. This book is 466 pages long and explain attribution modeling in the context of Google Ads and Facebook. This book is also available on all Amazon marketplaces. If it is not available in your country, you can always purchase it from amazon.com. Both the first and second book complement each other, but they are not dependent on each other. You can read one book without reading the other book. Most companies buy paperback version of both books so that their entire staff can benefit from it. However, Kindle version is also available if you want to buy the books just for yourself. These are the only two books on attribution modeling ever published. So there are no alternatives available out there. So here you have got close to 1000 pages on attribution modeling alone. Amazon does not allow books which are more than 480 pages long. So I kind of hit the class ceiling here. Otherwise I would have added few hundred extra pages in both books. And I'm not kidding. There is so much that can be covered about attribution modeling. This just show how much there is that needs to be learned. just about the topic of attribution modeling and i'm still scratching the surface here i still haven't figured out everything about attribution even though i have been learning and implementing attribution modeling since 2013 that's because attribution modeling is the most difficult and complex topic in web analytics and it is still becoming progressively hard and complex we have got last click conversions we have got first click conversions data driven conversions we have got click through conversions we have got view through conversions we have got assisted conversions then we have got dozens of different attribution windows conversion windows attribution models and then under each attribution window conversion window and attribution model we can have a range of different conversion volume and conversion values then we have got different types of cost per acquisitions like last interaction cpa last non direct click cpa linear cpa time decay cpa and the list goes on and on and the biggest headache of all is to decide which attribution window conversion window and or attribution model to use for optimizing marketing campaigns and interpreting data all of this has made web analytics and optimization incredibly hard and complex however you need to learn all of this attribution modeling jargon and not just learn it but truly understand it if you want to remain relevant in the current marketplace and in demand gone are those days when you were advertising on just one marketing platform and device and attributing sales was as easy as looking into an analytics report analytics reports are not what you see is what you get they are what you interpret is what you get so you can no longer ignore attribution modeling i don't know about you but i don't want to get obsolete so i continue to learn more and more about attribution modeling market reward those who continue to add value to the marketplace those who refuse to upgrade themselves or believe they know it all are left behind so that's it for the video thanks for watching and i look forward to speaking to you soon